only play an important part in society from the religious aspect of it. Mm-hmm. But on a personal level, yes, many many you have people that turn to the church in times of sorrows and struggles, yes. seeking you know comfort and guidance. All your talk uh-huh. right there, no, good uh-huh. point. And um, I was waiting for that. But let me introduce over the, over to other two guests as um they join. Praise us. the Lord, everyone. Uh, Nalis, Judith, <laughs> and um, Paula. Um, Judith, go ahead. Just be brief. Uh, uh, tell us a little bit about you in in the society for touch the church level. Of course, introduce yourself briefly. Hi, I'm Judith Jarrett. Um. Uh well about the church I am I'm, I'm Catholic and um I I you know I have positions in the church also where on Sundays we have a group we meet and talk before service you know uh, 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 an hour before service and uh, that uh, that group is about 15, 15 or 20 of us. And we we sit and we discuss our week and what God has done for us um within that week. Anything that uh, any if anyone have problems or whatever, you know, some people will talk about it and we'll try and, you know. So it, All right. Uh, We're coming yeah. right back to you, Judith. Uh, mm-hmm. Briefly introduce yourself, and as we move on, we introduce to Carla. How are you today? Um, Praise us, the Lord. I'm the good. Briefing. I'm good. <laughs> Who you so, are? Uh, okay. Small, so I'm um, Carla. Thank you. Boomers Edwards. Um, I attend the Grace Fellowship Movement Church in in um in Newark, New Jersey, and um. I was baptized when I was 13 years old. I grew up in the church, basically. But then, going into adulthood, I, I became um, a backslide or backslidden. And now, I am now trying to get myself back in line with God, in tune with God. You know? So, mm-hmm. that's my... my. All right. Work, work on it. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. And and of course, um just to just to briefly reintroduce Norma is on online with us. Norma, just briefly tell us about yourself a little bit and who you are well, to panel. Well, I I evangelize a lot and I love doing what I do. Uh I am from a group of about twenty-five young men and women. Mm-hmm. And we basically meet every day for two hours online. Oh. I have just completed my bachelor's degree in theology. Oh, man. Mm. Amen. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. On, yeah. on my way to the doctorate. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. God, That's God, good. God has, been, God has been awesome. Yes. And uh, to be honest... This 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 mission has been embedded in me, implanted in me from about the age of eight years old. I used to yes. preach in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I used to preach with the broomstick, the mop stick, <laughs> whatever I could get. <laughs> so I think it's destined to be. All right, thank you very much. We're coming back to everyone and um just for the group's sakes, we're going to introduce, uh, we're going to talk to Grace briefly. Grace, just give her, give us a, um, a little rundown. Um, I see you. You, you're losing control there. You, Grace, you're mute. All right, so um, let me unmute you. And mute yourself. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Yes. Don't be afraid to tell us who you are a little bit. Just be brief. Yeah. Uh, I think we're having some fun so far. And um it's very interesting. Yes, indeed. Grace. Uh, yes. Um 
that was still I'm trying to I'm trying to chart. Okay. Yes, yeah, so just be on. brief and on, on what you're saying. Uh, okay. Less okay. than a minute. Yes. Okay. What is I, I didn't hear the question. I couldn't hear you at the time. Yeah. Tell 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 our guest and our audience who is Grace. Yes. Just in okay. brief. Just in okay. brief. <laughs> okay. not, not, not the whole book. Not the whole book now. Just even the title well, of the book. Okay. Well, yes. Um, well, I my name is Grace Rodriguez and I um I I'm from I gave at an early age at, at fifteen and you know, um been in the church for a long time. And uh a few years ago, I answered a call to go out. I've been a part of a ministry for over 35 year, years, a large ministry, Faith Fellowship Ministry in Edison, New Jersey. And mm -hmm. I was called and my, you know, I was released by my pastor. Um, I function a lot in the prophetic and, and I go to churches to help. My call is to help the body of Christ. So uh, the leadership, I'm called, I counsel a lot of leaders. I had to graduate, you know, Bible school, went to New Jersey Bible Institute, and I've been traveling. I've been traveling to different ministries. I travel a lot to Rhode Island and different event, um, events. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Elder Michael, you know, I, I, I tell you about a trip I'll be taking. I've gotten a lot of, in, uh, a lot of international invitations. Um, so I function in the role of a prophet and also evangelist, and I love to evangelize. And I just love people, and I think souls oh, are important. She's so awesome, Michael. Yes, <laughs> yeah. indeed, 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 indeed. So now we we hear, <laughs> we hear a little bit about the, um, the lovely, three lovely, four lovely, as a matter of fact. Um, mm -hmm. Norma getting is, is actually, she's at work, but she, she's mm -hmm. just giving us a little pass through. And uh, yeah. she's the only one permitted not to have a video, not necessarily uh -huh. because of, you know <laughs> she's on duty and things like mm -hmm. that. But of course, I'll find a lovely picture when I'm editing and put her up. Yes. Oh um, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so good. That's good. So she's not yeah. escaping here. So no, um, no. <laughs> wow. I was I was trying to give you a sneak peek, but uh, my whole screen got disturbed right now. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yes. Hi, Carla. <laughs> Hi, Sister Grace. Good to see you. <laughs> you, you look, I almost did not recognize you. You look so lovely. <laughs> oh, my goodness. My, I have a little problem charging, keeping my phone charged. It's a... <laughs> I almost did not recognize it. I was like, isn't that Sister Grace? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Indeed, so, indeed, um, indeed. Very vibrant energy. Because energy yeah. is a driving force. And we Amen. need to have the right energy. When people talk mm -hmm. about positive energy, they're really mm -hmm. talking about an energy that, you know, will be fed into the body or into anything for that matter. You know, whether into yeah. society, into a group of mm -hmm. people, into mm -hmm. the workplace, mm -hmm. into machineries, you know. Yes. Whatever we put in, we can get out also, yes? So Amen. our expectations should be, should be somewhat high and we should look for uh, hope and look for greatness, yes? Yes. And we can move beyond ordinary. I believe that. Sure. <laughs> sure. Yes. But, you know, I look back at the measurement of life coming from way back mm -hmm. and I see mm -hmm. myself soaring into new heights just yes. like a plane flying because, mm -hmm. hey, mm -hmm. I born just like mm -hmm. these two little hands, little mm -hmm. baby crying. <laughs> and now here I am. And here we are today, okay? And mm -hmm. I must say, congratulations to all of you. But we're near wrapping up. But before we go, let us in, let us um extend a little bit more on what we can talk about real quickly. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're looking at the, the church in society and how mm -hmm. much of an impact can the church have in society help our youths? Okay, so mm -hmm. let us look at the youths in, at this time. And each of you are going to give your own definition, your own um, terminology, your own idea of how you think the church would be beneficial to the youths of our society. Okay. Okay. Do no, I, should I call name? Uh, yeah, okay. go ahead. Church is very important, mm -hmm. not to the youth, but to each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. And 
we as uh, the older ones should also try to guide the youths because um it is sad to see in the in this country that um god is not placed first in society mm -hmm. and, um we as they said uh, um it takes a village to raise a child to, to grow mm -hmm. as raise and, a child and raise a child and we and we a village can be two three mm -hmm. four mm -hmm. people you know it it mm -hmm. the, it it goes by you know who who are there to help to guide the, ch the child mm -hmm. justly okay. we have we have to make them aware that there is god mm -hmm. and we have to try and bring that into 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 in our fold so that you know i'm i'm trying to get my thoughts together but i'm i'm so sad about seeing what how this you know our society is right now and like my church you know we try to do a lot of stuff to to encourage the youth and mm -hmm. i know we have a lot of youthful people coming back to church mm -hmm. so, um, so um, if, if if we should um if I may cut down. Um, so we, we, in addressing the youth, um, should, well, you know, we don't want to just look at Sunday church because we only have two Sunday church. Um, but we also have Sabbath church, right? So the church in mm -hmm. general, because mm -hmm. I, I don't want to single out no one in particular because I'm dealing with the society in general. Mm -hmm. And, um, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and we, we, we as leaders, we have to look in general. And that's how mm -hmm. we will able to solve problems in general across the board mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. if we only solve yes. the problem just right here and down the street down the lane messed up you know what are we doing we have to do more than that as mm -hmm. leaders you know mm -hmm. and i think mm -hmm. leaders should have mm -hmm. play a vital role to have um influence on society mm -hmm. in society for society with society among all of us yes mm -hmm. and and um i think they're losing the what you call the authority in in my sense of definition Looking at authority, meaning that the way our people speak, even to just address someone, you should be able to say, hello, you don't have to throw it there and it's done. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But we have mm -hmm. to be fighting just to get simple things done. We have to be killing each other to get simple things done. I think, we, you, you know, we are, we're, we're going, gone, gone, mm -hmm. gone. Mm -hmm. But we're not going straight into that now because I want to hear your perspective, your point of view. And let mm -hmm. us go to Norma. Norma, are you still there? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. What What uh, would you do? What would you do differently for the youth, given a role? Okay, okay. As I was saying before, I'll just get a little piece of that and jump right in. Mm -hmm. As I I was saying that um the church was a place for um where um people from the society could come and get mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. support encouragement. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. you know, the church. Um, instead of all right, the youths are not us. What we cannot tolerate, they can't because it's hard for them. I've seen it where the youths would come to church and it's like if church is going over time because the spirit is leading a different way. They don't want to be bothered with that. <laughs> so <laughs> the role I think if the, the, the church come with things that can involve the kids, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. my church. Yeah. We are big. We are big and, 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 and supporting the youth. We have a lot of young people there. Mm -hmm. And we, we have to find things to keep them, to encourage mm -hmm. them. And so one, thing, mm -hmm. one thing leads to another. So they are in the drama group, the dance group. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of course, a lot of them get baptized and all that because mm -hmm. they first in, start with the enjoyment. Then mm -hmm. it leads up to the understanding of what they are mm -hmm. hearing. And mm -hmm. then the acceptance I've given their art to the Lord. So, mm -hmm. you know, you have to have what to keep them and, mm -hmm. and give them the support that they need, provide a sense of community and belonging. And you so, know? yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So yes. we will lead them in the right direction if we have all the, the, the necessity to keep them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Thank you very much, Norma. All right. Mm -hmm. Take every point okay. into great um, consideration. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Oh, you want to go, Grace? Yes. You want to um, grace the table? Go ahead. Yeah, you know, you know, this yes. is, I, I just, I love the area because, you know, um, 
what you said, what your point taken, both of you, uh, Norma, and um, a sister, I, I'm sorry, your name, um, that just spoke Judith. before. Judith. Judith. Yeah, Judith. Yes. And um, one of the things um, that uh, I'm passionate about is also as a youth, because, you know, and it, there is a scripture in it. Um, it's a, you know, it say he called on the young men because they're strong. They're strong. And all throughout, you know, the Old Testament, you know, with the children of Israel, there was, you know, when the ones that went in to the promised land were the, and realized were the young, the youth. And all through, he, you know, the Lord, he would tell them, um, God would tell them, you know, the certain age, 20, you know, it was always that certain age. Now, mm -hmm. the youth of today, they're wired different than us, you know, and, exactly. you know, even their level of technology, um, it's like, it's it's so far advanced, you know, um, and even our age, you know, and I have a, it's a joke that they asked me, your age, I said, well, I'm the new 22 with wisdom. So I, I kind of gravitate to the younger, you know, to the younger generation because, um, they need us as example to teach them. Now, um, <clears throat> in 1987, I had a vision. And in the vision, the Lord showed me in a dream, a night vision, the Lord, the young people, and they were, they were like teenagers, and they were going to whole neighborhoods, and the whole neighborhood would, be, would come into Christ, you know. And they didn't miss a house. And so Lord spoke to me, which he does. I mean, you know, some people say, you know, God talked to them, but, but he does. And he's speaking to all of us if we, we'll, you know, pay attention. And he showed me that, he said that they, they, they're, um, the people, that the last move of God, and we're in that last move, we're in the end times, that he was going to use the young people and they were going to, you know, they were going to usher in his coming. He said a lot of them are in the street, as we see so many now with the, them legalizing drugs and, and all of that. He said that some of them are still out in the street. You know, they're the best businessmen in what they're doing. And he said they're tenacious. They don't fear anything. They have no fear. Mm -hmm. And he said when, when they come in, he said they're going to be so tenacious that they're going to take that tenacity and they're going to turn it on the enemy, on the devil. And so I've been looking for so, that. So every time, yeah, uh, yes, yes we, we want to make sure we're on the subject. However, yes. good point mm -hmm. you're making. And I really yes. like that. I'm going to make yeah. sure we have a whole long episode for that one. Of course. Yes. Indeed. Okay. And uh -huh. um, it's a good point. Every point mm -hmm. is important. Everyone. Yes. Is important. And every point mm -hmm. is important. We want to yeah. make sure we focus on what the question is, so we mm -hmm. keep the mm -hmm. panel focused. And yeah. And uh, as I said, what would be, and what would be you do different? Yeah. Given a role for the mm -hmm. youngsters, what would you do to bring them into the church, to keep them in the church, to tell them about the church, you know that kind of thing. And uh, we just keep it brief like that. And thank mm -hmm. you very much for your point. Good point, though. Yeah. Um, okay. Sister Carla, Carla Summers. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So, um, Given first of role. all, we need. Um, mm -hmm. first of all, we need to mm -hmm. identify what mm -hmm. went wrong in in the society to make yes. it what it is mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The first problem we have had was the um fact that they took the Bible out of the school. Out of the school, but yes. Mm -hmm. Second of all, COVID came, and mm -hmm. they made us go online for church. Mm -hmm. which clamped down on and shut down most of the church. So the one-on-one mm -hmm. -on -one interaction that you meet and greet your sisters and brothers, yeah. that was cut out totally. And mm -hmm. now it is hard for them to create or come mm -hmm. back together in unison. Mm -hmm. Right? So the younger generation that was in church has fallen out totally because mm -hmm. they no longer have that mentor that they had in there to say, come to church. I'm looking forward mm -hmm. to seeing you in church. Or, yeah. you know, that motivation, per motivational person that they had, you know, they don't see them anymore face to face. So it's hard mm -hmm. to actually say, come back to church or I miss mm -hmm. seeing you in church. You mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. So in yes. order for us to Good go point. 
yes mm -hmm. in order for us to forward and be a better person's notice mm -hmm. to and be of service to the younger generation what we need to do is instead of trying to get them back into church is to meet them and on the platform that they are not yes. at yes. Facebook, uh -huh. Br bring TikTok. the church to them. Yes, to them. Yes. Bring the church. Bring to the them. church to them. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. and they are using so many methods now and ways of getting information out to younger generations. Because listen, they are not going to take up the Bible. Sis, uh -uh. I, I, right? I, will, I will say this to you, though. You mentioned COVID. And mm -hmm. you mentioned them being on social media. I have mm -hmm. never seen so many young people promoting the word of God until n now after COVID. Because yes. while they were home, everybody mm -hmm. used their time to yes. go on social media. Social media, and yes. Social uh -huh. media has gone wide with young people uh -huh. promoting yes. Christianity. Yes, 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 it has. Like yeah. Kentucky, in Kentucky, the colleges. There's a revival breaking out there in different mm -hmm. places. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in order for us to, is really to just get them out, get the information out there, invite them. So mm -hmm. if, say for example, Grace Fellowship Movement where, that I'm a part of, mm -hmm. we do have online where we, we, we reach, we use Zoom, but there's so mm -hmm. many other platforms that we can extend. We mm -hmm. can, the same service that is going on, instead of just limiting to Zoom, you can bring it to Facebook. You can bring the same service to TikTok. All these platforms can be active. So instead of just reaching people on Zoom alone, you're meeting, mm -hmm. you're you're reaching people on Facebook. You're mm -hmm. re reaching people on TikTok. You're reaching mm -hmm. people on Instagram with the same message. And this mm -hmm. is how Point. you uh, this is how right. you extend. Mm -hmm. extend mm -hmm. because we have to so win souls for Christ yes. right we have right. to win right. souls for Christ yes yes. Yes, sis, uh -huh. yes yes sister that might be true but you mentioned the one on one interaction if, mm -hmm. if, if, if we continue I'm not saying it's not to be on social media but nothing beats a the meet one and one. greet um, oh, okay yes. so this is how we're going to bring it now you bring you 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 are actually introducing the church, the mm -hmm. name of the church. That is what you're trying to broaden. So when they see that church on, on social media, they're going to be interested in saying, you know Coming what, okay. that church, right. that church right. I see on social media, and I want to be a part of that church. Mm -hmm. That's good. You yeah. see? Yeah. So mm -hmm. you'll see one coming. Next time they come, they bring a friend. Next time, the friend, you know, that's how you build. That's how you build. And that's how we need to, to start moving because we're never going to have them just willingly come. You just have mm -mm. to go out there and meet right. them. Yes, right, yes. Right, right, right. Agree. Yes. I agree right. with that. Church yes. is doing all of that. And mm -hmm. Plus, we have a little, uh, uh, we have another, a little church, a mini church. And mm -hmm. I wouldn't even call it mini, but it, they call it the mini church. And mm -hmm. uh, it, it turned it into a cafe, um, into like a, a cafe place where during the week they, they have functions and it's mm -hmm. all that that is tended for the youth. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There, you know, you, you know, food will be there. Um, you know, games are there. They, they have different functions throughout the week. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know the um, and they and they don't only leave out the 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 the, the youths. They they include everybody from twenty one and up. Like this week, they had um paint and sip. You mm -hmm. know, and while mm -hmm. you 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 you're talking about you know the Bible and stuff mm -hmm. like that, and um and the youths they have um youth nights. And every every day of the week, they they have all kind of stuff going on, and it's, mm -hmm, it's very, mm -hmm. and the youths are drawn to it, you mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. And right, right. They go to church now. You go, wow, it's so crowded, and mm -hmm. and after church, mm -hmm. 
they have you know the meetup in the in the cafe you know and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that the week so i find mm -hmm. what priest is doing is 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 very very accommodating and welcoming to the youth mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. to the congregation and all because i i've seen you know they have the website mm -hmm. for service. people utilize it but you find a lot of people attending church again which is great thank you yeah. for your point mm -hmm. Judith. we have that too we have okay go ahead yeah. so um as we, as we are wrapping up here and mm -hmm. uh, my my final question However, is is um anybody want to guess what is the final question? No. <laughs> we we have no profit in the house. No, no <laughs> point telling. <laughs> My God. <laughs> uh, I I figured we have somebody who just who tell me what I have written right here. <laughs> so we still have work to do, right? <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we do. Right yes, <clears throat> yes. Um, um, you know, it, it's it's funny, but it's true at times. But um, even even sometimes in our job, some people get weary and things like that. Um, but mm -hmm. what is a question? Um, mm -hmm. are you weary in doing your work sometimes in the church? Oh, are you no. being motivated? <laughs> are you being driven by great energy? Are you tired sometimes? What's going on? Everyone, okay. tell me their let, let me let me take let me take the floor with that one because yes. I'm a living <laughs> example. Yes, I Go am ahead. a living testimony to that. Yes, uh -huh. example. When yes. I started, me and my mother, we used to go at it with the Bible, uh -huh. and she used to say to me, "If the Lord come and your soul is lost, uh -huh. it's your fault because you know the word. Uh -huh. Not only know the word, but I love the word." And when yes, I started amen. ministry school, I started mm -hmm. it because I want to know more. I want to be mm -hmm. able to, to mm -hmm. hold a conversation and know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that thing drags me all the way into the associate degree until it takes me to this level. And then yes. I'm on to the next level. Mm -hmm. And in church, our church got closed down during COVID. Mm -hmm. And... After my COVID experience, I went on a 40-day fasting. Mm -hmm. When Praise I came out of that 40-day fasting, okay. the I, I said, you know what? The Lord have worked for me. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I said, I don't know what church to go to. However, school is affiliated to a church. Mm -hmm. And I went there. Mm -hmm. And I, it's like I'm running. I go and I don't go and I go and I don't go. And they call me and they say, what church do you go to? I said, right now, we don't have a church because X, Y, Z. And they said, you can make this your home church. Mm. And I, I've been going and going, and they must have realized that to keep this lady in church, we have to find work for her to do. <laughs> and of course, they find work for me to do. And I cannot stay home from church on a Sunday. It doesn't matter what, I have to be there. Right, right. So, so Mm -hmm. there is just work in the vineyard anywhere mm -hmm. you take it there is work 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 mm -hmm. in the vineyard you'll mm -hmm. never i never get weary never get tired mm -hmm. yeah so some people probably just need a little role in church to get out there right <laughs> <laughs> not necessarily if they love the word trust me yes yes yeah yes and yes. you know this is something might be a little touchy subject, but it, um, uh, we brought this up to a priest also. I know a priest is pretty young, and uh, I think with his energy, he has drawn a lot of people back into church. The youth, mm -hmm. the youth, and um, and even the elderly are fine in church. But um, what can be a deal breaker is people go in to hear the word of God to comfort the the spirit and um mm -hmm. you know and if they're being pressured financially in a in a in a hard time for 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 money nonstop 
I mean, people give their tithes and stuff, but uh, sometimes, you know, people get pressured and you know what? People like, you know, I, I don't have that money to be given like that in church every week. So, you know, they rather stay home and, 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 and. Okay, be... guys, give me, give me a second. I'm going to be out for a second. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, go on the website instead of being there physically or it and and the youth sometimes get turned off because they don't have the money like that so you know you, it, it, they have to be a balance they have to be a balance of doing things and that is where my my pastor came in the priest came in and that's why he, he had the have that um that cafe now for the kids an outlet for them to go and and hang out and do things instead of hanging out places that shouldn't be they look forward to going to to this place and and uh, like on Sundays when we have our meetings there are people sometimes coming into church and they see us and they go oh what's going on over here we have coffee we have tea we have you know little stuff that they can have for breakfast before going to church and right. mm -hmm. they don't even um in our group but they join they come in and they and we said help yourself you know mm -hmm. so every right, Sunday right. We have this catered out to not only us but to whoever want to come in and get involved and they you find they come and have the tea or coffee and, and they'll have a muffin or you know whatever is there and they will sit down and listen you know join in and that's a that's a way of you know helping people too in this in this hard struggling time you know financially right, right. yeah so you know you want them to come to church and okay, come back in for Welcome in back. you know financially yes. in mm -hmm. indeed indeed good mm -hmm. point there good point there mm -hmm. so what judy is saying is um we will, we don't want to discourage by pressuring exactly. and asking for too much when we we should be in fact giving but mm. uh, you know, it's 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 also a touchy subject, so mm. we have to we have to figure out. Uh, and one of our other other topics going to be how can we really finance a church, and how can this church finance the people, meaning uh, that or they can reach out to the people. Because um, remember, charity is love, so we have to be on top of the game to give. So how yes. do we give to society? Yeah, we have. So we we can't take from one and don't give, and so like, you have to know how to distribute even yeah but yeah I I like mm -hmm. yeah, go ahead sorry we have a saying one hand can't clap <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know you have to go both yes. ways mm -hmm. yes yes interestingly it is very important yeah you have a point you want to talk um caller okay so for me it's it's very i have to be very cautious yes. because i'm new in the church that yes. i'm in now Right. And if you if you do things, you mm -hmm. have people in in their role already. And I find that if you do things, you fit, or you make suggestions, people will think that you're overstepping your bounds, you know. And yes, yes, this is it. Yes. No, I'm not saying uh, no, I'm, but but right. Don't, I'm don't, a, don't, don't they? It's sad. So, and, 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 and for this panel in, in, in particular, that's why we, we're not addressing one individual group of people because mm -hmm. um, we can also leave that for the team or the group to come in differently. But mm -hmm. we want to look at a broader scale in a general sense. Where, well, there, there so are we, we're persons. At, mm, but sometimes things affect you that, personally. Yes. Yeah, yeah. There are persons that are in their role Mm -hmm. And even though you know that their role is not being played properly by that person mm -hmm. and you can make suggestions to change or alter or improve the role, mm -hmm. some people get offended mm -hmm. by so, well, well, let's Listen, mm -hmm. I, 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 I learn, I read, I practice mm -hmm. uh, this verse that says... Um, <laughs> As uh, spiritual people in, I 
places. Mm-hmm. Um, no, 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 no. What's the verse again? Um, help me out here about um spiritual wickedness in high places. <laughs> um, l- listen, listen. There, there must yes, there must be ordered order everywhere. And mm-hmm. at times, you in a congregation, you as a congregant, you see stuff, but you have to know how to bring it across. Um, maybe you could go one on one to whoever is in charge of um whatever department. I don't know the different departments in your churches, but mm-hmm. that's why they have members meeting, meeting or whatever yeah. where you can put lay your piece on the table. And at that point, if they agree, they agree, and if they don't, they don't. Again, the, um, I think there were two part to the question before you answer. Um, mm-hmm. I'm 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 addressing what you just said, and I I need to push the other piece in. <laughs> Example, yes, <laughs> like I have a charity, and my pastor said to me, "Your charity should not burden you." Because a lot of times, because it's not yet registered, I'm afraid to ask for certain donation. So I, instead of asking for monetary donation, I would ask for, 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 for things. So I would, I have a special website that I would direct donors to. And I said, you can order, you know, and you have anything from $40 up. I said, you can order something from that site and ship it here. And then mm-hmm. I in turn... Um, I develop a, a, a group and I have a day when I distribute them. So when he says that to me as the head of the church, um, mm-hmm. I totally understand. And that was kind of a good point for me mm-hmm. only because I told him, so if you bring it to the body, I don't think if it's a good point. And remember now, I'm doing this through the church. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, you know, so it depends on what you put out there. Also, the kids, the youth, you encourage them to do. Then, I'm giving yes. one example here. The mm-hmm. little shoe, the little shoe box thing at Christmas, where you ask them to get a shoe box <laughs> gift for, <laughs> let's say, people in other countries, mm-hmm. and you know how good it, they feel knowing that they can get a gift out to these unfortunate kids, and that's how you teach them and you prune them and you, you know what I'm saying. So. They move from the shoe box to a whatever you want to call it, a bigger box. And it's mm-hmm. in them that it's all about love. We were able to send 40 shoe boxes to India or to whatever the country is. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they come up with that upbringing, that, that, that unity of love, of sharing. You know, so we, 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 mm-hmm. we, we have to practice the things that we preach and teach them. It, mm-hmm. it will work. Mm-hmm. All right, thank but, you. But you know, it, it, I feel the church. So uh, we are all learning. We are all, we are all children of God. We are, we we um we come together to 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 serve, and and pray and and to strengthen each other. And I don't. It it bothers me when you know people. Some people within the church uses certain position. To, to try and 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 bring rules like like um we are supposed to be representing God and and be there for each other not not to be like bashful bashful yeah I I, mm-hmm. I find a problem with stuff like that too mm-hmm. that, that, mm-hmm. it's That's used right. to you model, have to, you, you, have to it, trod, used, you have to trod carefully trod it's carefully used to, it's used yeah. to bother me that I have a <laughs> I have a suggestion or I have I have something within me that I would like to say and mm-hmm. I'm afraid to say it because I, like the young lady said they may feel like you're overstepping mm-hmm. boundaries that, but not but, as I grow as I grow more in the church mm-hmm, it's it's two it's one of two things brother so and so our minister so and so you know something came to mind and you put that across. Is either he or she's gonna take it or said no, and you just move on. You just move on to the next next chapter. Mm-hmm. But if mm-hmm. if if we if we can concentrate on oh, I thought putting an apple tree in the front would be great, and I bring it to them, and they never did it. If you 
keep lingering about those things, you will never grow. And it's all about growing from mm -hmm. one level to another. So mm -hmm. we, we as people have to know how to just step over certain things. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give an example. My mom went to a church. She, she, she grew up Methodist. And mm -hmm. it was this Methodist church in in Brooklyn she saw and she said, you know, I'm going, I'm going to visit it and see what it's all about. My mom went as a visitor. She went into the church. She went and she sat. Somebody came and said, it's a big church. That's my seat. Oh, now, my. Yes, see? People, people <laughs> coming in, they weren't, poor got up and or moved, you know. She told her, that's my seat. She got up, she moved, she went somewhere else. Someone else came. That's my seat. She was moved on many times. And I said, Mom, what church is that? I mean, who does that? Who, who marks a <laughs> who, seat, who, right? Who does that? Yes. So she turned off and she said, I will never go back there again, neither. <laughs> is, is, is Prophetess Grace still on? She didn't enter the church either because the, no. they read the, the pastor read the, the scripture and whatever. Then he started to talk about Oh, the girls them wearing this skirt and this uh, start, you know, was criticizing people in the, you know, and instead right. of preaching about the word of God, I, I was like, oh my God, that's crazy. And there weren't well, young people. Well, well, Judith, mm -hmm. they, they asked me to usher at school, ministry yeah. school, uh, last month, one Saturday. Yeah. Hmm. And Actually, I went for registration. I worked that Saturday for them. And mm -hmm. I noticed how the way they were seated. And the following week, they asked me to, to seat everybody. Mm -hmm. And listen to me. Everybody who I saw sat together the first week, yeah. I, dis I dismantled them. <laughs> yeah. And put them on a different side. Yeah. And that's how come the pastor asked the whoever in the church said, listen, can you ask Evangelist Norma if she can usher for her son Sundays? <laughs> I like how she see them. <laughs> and the, the following week, they were like, but I sat over there last week. I said, listen, the difference is, this is not home where you have a special part on the couch that you sit mm -hmm. because you want to have a view of the television. This is school. <laughs> Right. This is school. I said, <laughs> do, do you know when, you know, you develop a friend or a lot of couples are there, so it's hard to separate the couples. I said, do you know when you have a lot of friends and all the friends group together and because you're friends and you always sit together, the rest of people come in, they sit and decide. When you look, it's so unbalanced. This side of 40, that side of 15, this side is always the dominant side from start to graduation. Well, in this school, everybody's going to mingle. <laughs> yes, it's important to mingle because that, that's how you get new views and new no, I ideas. Just, I just mix them up. You, you know? don't own no seat in church. No. <laughs> yeah. The only person who has a permanent seat there is the pastor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't want to church and feel like you're 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 you're, you're an you're outsider and you can't mm -hmm. you're scared to say certain things or what no 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 don't mm -mm, mm -mm. but you know what those are the people who are going to come into church and the same way they come in it's the same way they're leaving because uh -huh. they sit in one seat every day <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah you know all right ladies but but, but as we said um michael the yes. church church in the community should play a very vital role you know mm -hmm. we are beginning to see it more and more because think about like the food pantries yes. the churches that do food pantries mm -hmm. so they they play a big role in the in the society and i think more should join in and you know just spread the spread instead of just spreading the word with no action behind it spread the word and spread it with love mm -hmm. right right Exactly, because charity is love. Yes. Indeed. Yeah. 
And remember now that greater in the days of thy youth. Thy youth, right. Indeed, indeed. So we should always be, rem, rem, we should remind the youths of that scripture. I used to love that one growing up, you know. <laughs> Me too. I, I know one day I was going to get whole 99 and so on. That's <laughs> of course, indeed. Yes, indeed. I am so blessed. Thank you, Jesus. And yeah. of course, this is the end of our program. And of course, we've gone up the radar. But it's really interesting because we, I realized that we still have a little more energy. But of course, all good things must come to an end. Right? Amen. And Amen. In, closing, in closing, each person is, is going to have 60 seconds to say anything that they want to say. Since we have the radar, it's fine. Yeah, and, and um, and we can close. Just 60 seconds of something. I can do all things through Christ who strengthen me. Amen. Amen. The Lord is the light of my salvation. The stone that the builder refused becomes the chief cornerstone. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> okay, so we have some little sayings here, and slogans and phrases and everything, huh? It was really Amen. nice, nice having all of you here on on board. This what evening. happened to Sister this Grace? Night. Yes, she just I was asking if she dropped off. Yes, um, I believe she has a problem with the charging system oh, okay. so i'm gonna make sure i give a um a donator a backup battery <laughs> <like that. laughs> uh, of course that's my she, that's, she's a really good subject. woman to learn from she's yes. she really has a lot of information wow. I, yes. yeah yes. she yes. is she does yes she she has been on the journey and mm -hmm. she has capitalized on the journey and I so, guess so Michael, you know I like good company and good connections. Indeed. So, <laughs> thank you for the invite. Maybe I'll get to know her more. Uh -huh. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed, yes. definitely. <laughs>